Toyota's EV division has been in upheaval recently, with the CEO announcing in late October that he would scrap his EV strategy after its BZ line virtually failed. They had multiple recall difficulties, cost too much, and needed to be more appealing. However, there have been some advancements, and Toyota is already planning to re-enter the EV market following some big improvements. Join us as we investigate what Toyota CEO has just disclosed about their new strategy and how it might be a game-changer for the Japanese brand. The world's largest automaker has created a new technology to alter how power is transferred to the axles. Before properly comprehending what they've just announced, it's difficult to grasp how an EV works. What exactly is an e-axle? An e-axle, also known as e-drive, combines an electric vehicle's gear motor in power control electronics. It governs how a vehicle manages and converts the energy stored in its battery. It also helps recover energy loss in braking and returns into the battery. To distribute power from the motor to the wheels in more noble manner, the e-axle system employs a secondary motor and gearbox. This implies that the motor can spin faster and more efficiently and the gearbox can manage the torque going to the wheels. The new system is lighter, smaller, and more efficient than the prior model. It can also charge the battery through regenerator braking. To put it another way, a well-designed e-axle improves a vehicle's power economy and acceleration while extending its operating range and smoothness. One of the most significant benefits for any automobile manufacturer in a competitive EV market is lowering the cost of electric vehicle production and buying pricing. Because the battery and e-axle are among the most expensive components of an electric vehicle, they provide the greatest possibility for cost savings. Therefore, the greatest efficiency benefits and cost savings can be found in e-axle systems and batteries. Blue Nexus Corporation, ASIN Corporation, and Denso Corporation established a partnership in May to develop an e-axle for Toyota's upcoming battery electric vehicles. Blue's first e-axle achieved outstanding dynamic performance and downsizing while aiding automobiles and enhancing electric mileage. Blue was established in April 2019 to develop market-leading electric systems and drive modules. Blue aims to accelerate the adoption of electric vehicles, contribute to the realization of a carbon-neutral society, and satisfy the needs of customers worldwide. The e-axle is an electric drive module that combines a motor and a transaxle. Three new models with 150 kilowatt specifications front and rear and 80 kilowatt specifications front and back have been created in partnership with Blue, ASIN, and Denso for FWD automobiles. This device has achieved remarkable dynamic performance and high torque by enhancing output density. The output density can be raised by applying simulations and technologies developed before to optimize cooling inside the axle, adapt heat management technology, and boost double-sided cooling technology for inverter layers. Top-notch electric mileage has also been made possible by the best possible magnetic design of the motor, joining technology to decrease coil ends, low viscosity lubricant for the E-axle, and loss reduction technologies like the new RCIGBT. Furthermore, new technologies like a built-in design that incorporates an inverter into the transaxle, a compact motor, and an output shaft to cover the gap between the shaft has significantly reduced the size of the E-axle. To increase the passenger and load compartment areas, the E-axle that will be put in the front of the car is shorter longitudinally than the one will be mounted in the back. ASIN has developed and produced more than 5 million electric vehicles since the debut of its first hybrid gearbox in 2004. In contrast, Denso has invented and manufactured more than 20 million inverters since introducing the first Prius in 1997. Now, thank you for reaching this point. Make sure to finish this video to know more. But before we continue, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel and like, comment, share, and hit the notification bell for more upcoming videos like this. The three firms collaborated to develop Blue First E Axle. Leveraging Blue's experience in component optimization and modularization and the company's adaptability to a wide range of vehicles, Azen and Denso will continue building compact, highly effective economical products by combining their strengths, experience, and knowledge. The enterprises will also contribute to the realization of a carbon-free world by putting their products via Blue in all types of electric vehicles. This e-axle or e-drive has become a competitive front, partly because manufacturers are under pressure to reduce the production cost of electric cars to make them competitive in price with normal gasoline vehicles. E-axle systems and batteries provide the industry's greatest potential for efficiency increases and cost reductions. 
This e-axle is essentially transmission for Toyota's electric automobiles. The idea is to create a module that incorporates the inside motor axle and inverter. Each type of drivetrain has a separate version. The ultimate result is more than simply having a new technology for the sake of having one. However, the e-axle also improves the vehicle's driving dynamics. It also delivers greater torque than a simpler gearbox design. In addition, you will get a higher mileage from your car. This module's outstanding heat management capabilities are one of the reasons for these enhancements. This function in tandem with the developer's initiatives to reduce energy losses. Aside from its great performance, it is also more utilitarian, producing additional passenger and luggage room. When the new Toyota BZ4X was launched, the e-axle took center stage. ASIN has revealed intentions to deliver a small, medium, and big e-axle accomplishing both high efficiency and compact size as the second generation in 2025 during a predicted significant increase in demand for BEVs. They seek to reduce the overall energy consumption of a vehicle by 10% or more compared to the first generation employing these new technologies, equivalent to the power consumption ratio or fuel efficiency of a gas-powered cars. This includes allowing the battery's capacity to reduce by 10%. These seemingly simple enhancements give car users substantial benefits. For example, a better electric economy may result in a longer driving range and a smaller battery may result in a more interior room. In addition, they say that the second version has substantially smaller dimension than its competitors, a volume decrease of around 40%, enabling it to carry more goods or battery capacity. They claim that this compact size crosses the second and third generation e-axles. They also claim that it will be have more than quadrupled the power performance of competitors in the same output range and enhanced motor cooling technologies. While this is planned for 2025, they are also intensifying their efforts to produce a third generation which will be available in 2027. They claim that revamping the motor and gear train resulted in very high efficiency and small size for the third generation. These third generation e-axles will also be half the size of the original generation, resembling a turbine engine or something found on a fighter jet. It'll save a lot of room in the EVs that will be introduced in 2027. As a result, you'd be able to travel much further than a smaller car. This will also result in increased battery capacity and improved aerodynamics. As a result, by 2027, Toyota's EVs might be competing with all other top dogs in the EV market. Because every company is in an innovation race, they may sought to clone Toyota's accomplishments or created something that outperforms the Japanese brand. According to ASIN, they can boldly take on these new challenges because of the substantial experience and skills we have amassed over the many years as a worldwide manufacturer leader in the vehicle industry. They said, we intend to create a unique e-axle by leveraging gear shaft casing and other technologies developed during the construction of the automated transmission and by enhancing collaboration with external firms. Employing their historically acquired good knowledge and methodologies, ASIN has been speeding the electrification of cars as part of efforts to realize carbon neutrality in addition, to promptly satisfy the needs of their clients throughout the world, they are working hard to supply drive units for various types of vehicles, including hybrid vehicles, plug-in hybrid vehicles, BEVs, and FCEVs. ASIN's e-axle for BEVs and FCEVs was mentioned as a crucial strategic product. They are currently working on creating a third-generation e-axle that will be extremely efficient yet significantly lower in size. All signals indicate that Toyota is on its approach to recovering its status as the king of all automakers, but we'll have to wait and see how this scenario unfolds. These new technologies appear to be highly promising, but we will have to wait and see how will they work when they are ultimately released in 2025 and 2027. And that's it! Thank you for watching! Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more upcoming videos like this. Before you leave, did you know why Tesla semi truck will crush the Mac Anthem diesel truck? If you want to know more, make sure to click and watch this video here. See you there!